हेलो एवरीवन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑन द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ एफएसए दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू फिनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एनालिसिस गिव द हेडिंग इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन टू फिनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इंट्रोडक्शन टू फिनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एनालिसिस now this is something which is very practical and very powerful okay now this particular topic that is financial statements see till now we have done lots of analysis whether with the help of the derivatives whether with the help of the equity with the help of the fixed income but this aspect of research this aspect of analysis is very important this will tell us that how the company is performing that how the company is performing there is a financial statements financial statement basically a statement which gives us the idea about how a company is performing their income their profits their losses their expenses their assets their liabilities their cash flows so we are going to do a complete analysis of a particular company through their financial statements clear now the first los is actually starting it with a steps in financial statement analysis framework your los a is about steps steps in the financial statement analysis framework basically how we will do this analysis how we will do this analysis okay so basically there are steps which we have to do one by one but but for the timing i'll tell you what statement financial statement actually includes okay it includes your income statements income statements which have all the details of income expenses profits gross profits clear then we have balance sheet this will have all the information about the asset the liability as well as the equity and then we have cash flow statements cash flow statement means from where a company is generating the cash flow and where they are actually investing that particular cash flow clear from where the cash is coming and where the cash is going clear now we need to do an analysis of all these financial statements so for that we have six steps okay let us look at step 1 by 1 now the first step is state the objective and context state the objective and context state the objective and context say let's say you want to buy a new phone okay you don't just walk into a shop and grab the first one which you see right so you first of all ask yourself what is my budget what is my budget do i want it for gaming or do i want it for photography clear how soon do i need it means uh, do i need it immediately or do i need it at a later point of time so what does this means it's not only for a specific company okay it's for all means when you are going to do an analysis you have to define your objective you have to define your context clear similarly in finance before analyzing any particular company you need to set your objective clearly clear number 1 are we trying to see if the company is good to invest in are we trying to see if the company is good to invest in means i am going to put my money in this particular company so that particular company is it good or not is it good or not only we will invest our money only and only if i will see the future in the company clear second second company have huge amount of debt company have huge amount of debt can it repay its loan on time can it repay its loan on on time or not clear 
now now we are going to check all the reports we are going to check all the reports whether it is the income statement whether it is the balance sheet whether it is the cash flow statement clear and my purpose is clearly defined that i want to invest my money in this company whether this company is worth it or not that i should put my money how much money should i put when should i put my money clear for how long i have to put my money in the company clear so all these must be clearly defined clear so now very important point in order to do the analysis you want all the documents you want all the documents you want all the financial statements clear so from where you will fetch all these information clear now for how long you want this data suppose uh, we are in 2025 clear we want the data say from 2015 to 2025 say complete 10 years data I want to analyze the company their performance whether sale is increasing or not whether they are able to increase their net profitability net profit margins are increasing or not liability is decreasing or not return on asset return on equity so I'll check the data for say 10 years or might be the possibility I will check only the data from say 2023 to 2025 might be I want the data only for two years so first I want to set the objective from where I'll get these documents for how long I want the document clear and how much time do I have to do the analysis I cannot spend the whole year to do an analysis so I have to define my time frame as well that within a week I have to do the analysis so that accordingly I can invest my money into the project are you clear with this this is your first step set the objective and the context now coming to the second point second point is about gather the data okay so now i have said that i want it for 10 years clear so now my next step is to grab all the relevant information all the relevant documentation so that i can do my analysis so that i can do my analysis clear so for that i will acquire all the company's financial statement and the relevant data with respect to the industry as well as the economy suppose the company is particularly operating in say it sector okay so what i'll do i'll take other companies data as well clear suppose my company's infosys clear so what i'll do i'll take the data of tcs i'll take the data of hcl tech i'll take the data of bajaj software builder softwares clear and then i'll compare it how infosys have performed with respect to them and also i'll take the data of economy i'll take the data of economy suppose economy is poor, uh, doing very poor but infosys have done very well even in the recession even in the recession infosys have done really well so this is a very good sign means i can put my money in enforcing knowing that even if it is a recession it will fetch some amount of money to me so is it a good investment or bad it is a good investment clear apart from that i will also uh, send the questionnaires to the supplier of the company to the customers of the company okay and visit the company sites to whatever the data is available with respect to the company apart from the financial data i'll try to gather each and everything what's the customer experience their feedback whether they are liking the product or not are they facing any problem suppliers how much due is left suppose someone have supplied the goods to the infosys okay some material say computer and laptop and pay payment is pending from last two years so this is not a good sign that why infosys on is not clearing the payment clear so i will gather whatever information whatever data is possible from the market from the industry and then i will do my analysis now coming to the third step you have you have gathered the data now it's time to process the data now it's time to process the data let's go back to our phone example where i have said that you are going to a shop and before uh, actually purchasing the phone you have to do lots of research clear similarly with respect to the phone there is a lots of data its price its battery life 
camera specialization, RAM, storage, screen size, its weight, so many things, clear? So now what you will do, you will put everything on the spreadsheet and you will compare them side by side. Means, I'll just give you an example, something which you can relate and understand. Here is your iPhone, then you have some Samsung phone, then you have Redmi phone and then some MI and so on. So camera, okay. Then speaker, okay. Then storage, poor, screen size and other and so on. So now you identify that based on the pricing, this one is best, clear? So similarly in finance, we have to organize all the data which we have collected, clear? And most important point, write it down, write it down. Adjust the financial statement if needed. Adjust the financial statement if needed might be there is few discrepancies or might be there is a possibility that you have three different companies financial statement and you want to compare it but something is actually making them uncomparable so in order to compare them you will make some adjustment you will make some adjustment and we will study about this in detail in the coming topics clear now we will calculate all the ratios like profit margins debt to equity ratio sales to asset ratio all these ratios we are going to calculate we will create the charts we will create the graphs and common size statement now this will help us to compare and understand the company better see if i have infosys i have tcs i have say wipro i have hcl tech so in which company see i have limited amount of money of 100 dollars I can invest only in one company. So which one is best? Where should I park my money? So how will I get to know? When I'll compare them? When I'll compare them? Clear? So now after doing all my analysis, what I found out that Wipro is best. Wipro is best on all parameters. P ratio is also good. Profitability is also good. Profit margins are also good. Sales is increasing. Even in uh, during the bad times, they are able to generate the business. They are able to generate the profits. So on all parameters, Wipro is good. So what I'll do? I'll put my money in the Wipro. I'll put my money in the Wipro. Clear? Now coming to the next step. That is your fourth step. Step four. Step four is about analyze and interpret the data. Analyze and interpret the data. So in the previous step, you have processed the data means you have created an Excel sheets, you have created the charts, you have created the graphs and everything is there with you. Okay. Everything is there with you, but now it's time to analyze and interpret this data clear. So you have compared two or three phones. Now you are asking which one is best. See over here, I have told you that this is best. So how you got to know that this is best after you analyze and interpreted all the data, all the information clear. Similarly, over here, you are going to understand the trend, whether the company is growing or not clear, whether they are managing the debt properly or not, whether they are paying the salary properly or not, whether they are incorporating the new innovation in the technology clear. Are they incorporating the new products to stay competitive in the market? What they are doing to increase the profit margins? Clear? All these informations are important. We look for their strengths, we look for their weakness and we also need to ensure that the numbers which they are posting in the financial statement, are they making sense or not? Because it can happen. See, mark my word, it can happen. I'm not saying always. It can happen that what you see in the financial statement is always truth. No, sometimes there can be discrepancies. So you need to use your own judgment, your own expertise, your own skills. To identify that no i cannot fully trust on the given financial statement i have to do my own research are you clear with this now coming to the step five step five report the conclusion or any recommendation report the conclusion report the conclusion or any recommendation now you have prepared all the research report clear now suppose uh, it's you and your brother you know that you cannot buy your phone your brother will help you to purchase the phone or he will purchase the phone and give it to you 
clear so you will share all the conclusion of your research and recommendation to your brother and now he will buy a phone and he will give it to you clear why because it has a better battery life or fit for the budget similarly being you are a financial analyst you will prepare a report with your findings give recommendation whether you should invest in this company or avoid this particular company follow all the ethical standards when you are creating this financial statements and conclusions clear and point number six which remains very important that is to update the analysis is to update the analysis this is very important that you need to update your analysis clear means you have purchased the phone but after one year whether you should continue using the phone or you should change it because new technology comes up clear so even in the finance we works in the same way clear companies and market they keep are changing so earlier suppose we have invested our money in the tcs clear but after one year we found out that tcs have worked well but now i don't see any good future so now i'll start doing the research and i'll see okay i'll pick the money out from the tcs and now i'll put the money in the infosys or i'll put the money in the wipro depending upon that market situation depending upon how the company is performing and what products or what services now they are offering are you clear with this okay so i have completed the first los of our topic that is describe the steps in the financial statement analysis framework that from the beginning all the six steps which we have to follow starting from first of all set the objective second gather the data third process the data fourth analyze and interpret the data and fifth prepare the report and conclusion and recommend it to your senior manager because you are an analyst and point number six keep updating your analysis clear so we will continue ahead in the next lecture i am ending this lecture here thank you